Awesome. Wow, I'm so excited to finally get to talk to you, Edwin. This is really exciting for me. Yeah, why? <laughs> because I've been telling everyone about you and everyone thinks that I've made you up. I, I, I told them about this amazing crazy <laughs> man who wants to go to the South Pole and they're like, that's not possible. There can't be a man who's going to put a solar tracker onto a, a sailing ship, bring it to Antarctica and drive it on the power of the sun. It, it's not possible. There, there can't be such a person. But here you are. Well, that's uh, indeed our mission. Uh, it was Mission Impossible and uh, the specialist of the industry also told us it's a marvelous story, but don't try to, to dare it because it will not happen. And here, here we are. Yeah, here you are. I mean, I just saw a picture of your solar tracker on the beach. You're testing it right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. we have tested it uh, uh, quite a few times. More than one year ago, we started with uh, serious testing the first time in Iceland. And uh, we didn't succeed on that uh, moment. But that is a part of our journey and uh, it makes us stronger and more creative to solve problems that we were facing at that moment. The last time we uh, tested in Iceland, it was a big success. Y yeah, I saw one video where you the wind kind of took your solar tracker and, and, and did some damage. Yeah, no, it didn't, it didn't give us uh, damage at all. Uh, uh, and that's a good thing because uh, one of the things you have to test uh, is the extreme um, situations mm -hmm. and a trailer tipping over is such a uh, situation. You got the idea for this, I think, uh, a few years ago. You were making dinner with your wife, right? And you were just sick and tired of having wasted plastic in your house, right? Tell me about that. Well, that was uh, two years ago. I have a present for you. <laughs> Hello! Hi! <laughs> Hi, are you this going with this crazy man to the South Pole? Yes, I love going with him, yes. <laughs> wow, this is so exciting. You guys are amazing. I can't believe you're doing this. It's hard to well, believe. We are normal people, nothing special. We are not adventurous or, or uh, magicians. Just the average neighbor. I, I find that hard to believe. You, you seem like you are either uh, geniuses or uh, crazy. I don't know. I, how... How did you come up with this idea? Well, well it started all in, uh, at home in on our kitchen table. And we we saw the amount of plastic uh, while we were cooking. And we thought, well, we know the problem in the world if we are talking about waste, and especially with waste plastic. We all are familiar with plastic soup, the uh, epic scale of landfilling, and, and so on and so on. What I see is complaining about the politicians not acting properly or complaining about the industry. Why are they packaging uh, all our food in, in single-use plastic? We both said to ourselves, well, we can continue complaining, but it will not solve uh, the problem. So what can we do by ourselves? And the first thought we had was, well, let's start to experience zero waste at home. And that was marvelous to do. We saw an awful lot of possibilities and saw quick results. And on the other hand, we said, well, we still have uh, a lot of single-use plastics. What can we do with that? That was the, the starting point of our project Clean to Antarctica. That's where the magic started. So people who are watching you right now and are like, I don't think I can do this. I can't get rid of plastic waste in my house. What do you say to them? Is it how did how did you start it? You just went cold turkey. You just decided no more after today. The magic started uh, by thinking different. It is not waste material at the end of his life, but it is raw material at the beginning of their life. 180 degrees different. It is not worthless. It is variable. That's the, also the opposite. And 180 degrees is the geographical south pole. That's the extreme south we can imagine. So we are constantly thinking different. We, we call that in Dutch omdenken. <laughs> Think the other way around. And if you're doing your utmost, then for sure you will find a solution. It is that simple. But you have to stick with that approach and practice a lot with that. Start small in your private life. You can go to the grocery with a bag. Those are very little things you can do with a great impact. Every time one can take the small step that they can handle, uh, take small steps at a time, one by one, then you can make a difference. Now, another step that you guys took is you got rid of your car, right? Yeah, we had two cars and we started with one. Let's, let's get rid of one car 
And once we are starting with our expedition, the other one will also be uh, So Once we are back, we will see how to solve that. You can travel on many ways. And why, why is it necessary to own your own car with a combustion engine? Uh, in the Netherlands, there are quite a lot of alternatives uh, for that. Now, when you had waste plastic at home, you then um, found a way to recycle them into these bricks, right? First, we saw that if you uh, start with this mind experiment by changing all the things 180 degrees we saw precious raw material that's building material how do we collect more of this material it would be very nice to start a sort of urban mining with children of the primary school and collect as much as possible awesome. teach them about plastics teach them about sustainability, show them your ideas about uh, this exp expedition, give them the possibility to be a part of it. It's cool to be a part of it. And that gives them the energy uh, to help us uh, collecting um, uh, waste plastic. From that, after a sorting process, we uh, had chosen for uh, the PET plastics, uh, the bottles, mm -hmm. and from that plastic in an uh, home-built extruder, we uh, extrude uh, filament. And filament is uh, the raw material for 3D printers. Mm -hmm. And after a designing process, we find this uh, hexagonal shaped block, building block, as the raw building material for uh, the solar Voyager. So you, you've built your, your solar trekker out of these recycled plastic blocks? Yeah. Solar Voyager is a sort of a 3D jigsaw puzzle built out of these uh, hex cores, uh, as we call them, because it's a hexagonal shape in the core of the hull from the Solar Voyager. And together with some modern materials like carbon, to reinforce the construction, we finally had this uh, now, yeah, well-known shape uh, of the solar foyer. Now, your goal was to reach, I think, uh, 39,000 children. How is it going? Are you, are you getting a lot of excited children when you go talk to them? Oh, we find a, a lot of them, but uh, we are not nearby 30,000 uh, at the moment. We are more fo uh, focused on the expedition to find a broader audience uh, in the world. It, it should also be international and not only local-wise in the Netherlands. Once we are back, our main goal is to uh, to teach and educate children based on this experience, but also teach and educate uh, adults in the industry how you can achieve a more innovative behavior in companies to make the difference, to add more added value to your business and for sure more sustainable. Now you're going to load your Solar Voyager onto a sailing ship right? In, in, and you're going to sail to Antarctica. Unfortunately, we started with the idea to sail it uh, to Antarctica on this tall ship. Okay. But on logistical reasons, we, we couldn't continue that, that idea. Okay. So the Solar Voyager will be shipped in a sea container to okay. Punta. Sailing with this tall ship is more a quest for change to the industry. And this quest for change is challenging the industry. Are you also capable to reach the, the end of the world, the, the ultimate? And so far we are indeed heading south. We are sailing both with that ship and the students who are co-working with the industry to solve sustainability problems. The first leg will be to the Canary Islands. After that, uh, it's a matter of another industry who will step in and, and uh, go to Brazil and then another to uh, Chile. Uh, but if that's not the case, then we have to go back. And well, that's then it's clear that Regular people are going much further than the industry. The industry is, is more or less stick to earning money and making a lot of profit and shareholders value, and that's it. Not uh, really busy with Mother Earth and sustainability. Now, you have about 70 students who are uh, training to sail with you. Is that true? We had uh, 60 in total per weekend, and they are trained. Uh, for one week, briefing from the industry so that they understand the question which will be handed over to them with the question, please give your best ideas uh, or maybe solutions. 
120 in total will experience this life-changing uh, oh, moment. Wow. And what kind of industries are you looking for to support you? Because, I mean, let's let our viewers out there know about this so they can talk to their bosses and if they are business owners, like what, what yeah, do you need? That's nice. That's nice. Well, uh, the industry we have at the moment is the chemical industry. We have also fashion industry and we are looking for energy, uh, food, automotive, for all those industries well known by the majority of people in the world. Maybe, and te maybe will... Tesla could support a leg. Yeah, that, that's that's absolutely a possibility. And, are you listening, uh, Elon? If you have a good uh, firm line with them, uh, challenge them. Right. We are not doing this for exposure. We are doing this to change, to, to make the change happen. I really like your quote uh, on your website. History changes through small steps, crazy ideas. Start small, start today, become the captain of your life. I, that's really inspirational to me. You're going to be going on a 2300 kilometer journey in the Solar Voyager. So talk to me yeah. about that. I mean, that sounds almost impossible. How are you gonna? Do, you, how are you gonna do it? Well, it starts with uh, a very good preparation. We never experience minus thirty degrees, so uh, clothing is very important. So we went to, to seek for a, a good party who has the best clothing in Holland, and that's uh, become the North Face, an American company. Then we had the the, the, the search for uh, food because uh, we don't want to use any fossil fuel uh, to warm up some uh, some ice. Okay. So everything uh, is, is done by solar power. So freeze-dried food we have to take with us. It's, uh, to give you an idea, uh, 100 kilogram per person of food. We have to eat 8,500 calories a day to stay warm. Wow. Uh, about 17 Big Macs. Wow. Yeah. Per person. Per person. Per, person. Oh my God. per day. And then we have to drive 24 hours a day. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's, it's, it's 24 hours a day of daylight, so we can uh, take uh, full Enjoy. advance uh, of, uh, of, the, of the sun. So one will be driving, one will be sleeping and preparing uh, food as much as possible. So it's, it's a journey for about 30 days. It's our goal. Wow. 30 days. And that means average speed will be four kilometers an hour. So there will be days of 100 kilometers and some days will be less. The wind is also a thing uh, that can, uh, very hard wind on, on uh, Antarctica, strong wind. And so it, it's also a possibility that we can't drive for a couple of days because of the, the, the wind. And then we have to take off the solar panels because otherwise they will be flipped over. And damage, and then, then we have nothing uh, left. Do you have batteries in the Solar Voyager to store power? Yeah, we have two batteries, and um, we don't want to use them to drive. Okay. But um, when we can't drive, we will have to be able to get in contact with our mission control center here in Amsterdam. That's why we won't use the power in the batteries for driving, but that's just one thing for our uh, for emergency security vacation with, with the, uh, the mission control center. Can, can our viewers track your expedition? Can they watch your progress? Well, that's, that, that is one of our ideas, and we are busy uh, to, uh, to build that the coming month. To give you an idea, Antarctica is one and a half times bigger than the United States. 90% of all the ice of the world are in the plateau of Antarctica. Its uh, average uh, thickness is two and a half kilometers. Our expedition, if you compare it with space missions, are on two things difference. We have oxygen, we will survive that, uh, although we are at a high altitude. We are at the end nearby South Pole at the altitude of 3,000 meters. And we have gravitation, so if I jump, I will be coming back to Earth. <laughs> but for the rest, it is similar to space uh, journeys. Uh, and that means that a mission control center will follow us constantly. 24-7, we'll judge our energy supplies, how many energy do we harvest from the sun, how are we charging, what is the capacity of the batteries, what is consuming all, uh, all our energy, and uh, also looking at navigations, what is our progress, when do we expect to reach the geographical south pole, and more important, when are we back 
at base camp, in this case Union Glacier, because at the end of summer you have to get away from Antarctica because you will not survive that. There is also media, of course, because we our mission is not see us doing some something special as athletes. That's not the case. Uh, we want to show the world that regular people with a good will and common sense and respect for nature are capable to do the amazing things. So let's join forces. Together we are much, much stronger than a political system or in, uh, industries. That's what we want to show the world. And everyone can follow us at uh, our website. You can join in on the newsletter. And uh, so then you can follow us to have uh, the news in the email. www.cleantoantarctica com or .nl. Now, if people want to support you uh, with money, how can they do that? At your website? Yes, please. please yes, please. please. <laughs> because for more than two years, we are without any salary. Also, for the rest of our team, we do not earn money. And we, we of course, we need some some money because that's, that's one of our major problems uh, today. So uh, at our website, you can donate whatever you want. The more, the better. And, uh, and you have some perks on there too, right? You can, I, I saw there's some really cool different levels of support. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And well, if you choose for uh, for the cold option, then you're invited to have a cup of coffee or tea at our kitchen table there where it started. That's awesome. With Arctic ice, we will bring from the South Pole. That's the, the, the most ex special tea or coffee you have ever wow. experienced in your life. Do you hear that, people? Go support them. These are some awesome perks. Wow, this is great. Now, I have to ask you this. I mean, your safety is of vital importance. What do your kids think about this trip? Do they think, you know, are they trying to convince you not to do it? Are they supporting you? What's, what's going on with your kids? Why are you, when are you leaving? <laughs> <laughs> well, they are convinced that uh, that things will end successfully. So people and should start watching around what December first. Is that roughly when you're going to start? Yeah, that's 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 a good uh, good idea. Then okay. then we have uh, made a good progress. Um, we expecting more or less the 10th, 12th of December to reach the geographical south. Keep in mind, um, Antarctica is a severe continent. If we will reach the geographical south pole, I'll let you know afterwards. Okay. <laughs> when you're making this journey, there are no roads on Antarctica. So how do you, like, are you gonna have to get out and push this thing sometimes? Like, how are you gonna, it's, it's 2,300 kilometers. How are you gonna do this? If you're looking at our website, you will find uh, uh, images or videos uh, about the plateau. It is a tremendous wide area with nothing. It is similar to sailing on, on the ocean with a, sh with a ship. Okay. So uh, we have to navigate as a sailor. I am so in awe of what you guys are gonna do. I am so inspired by you. I'm just, I'm gonna be watching with bated breath your journey and and you're, what, even what you've done so far is just so inspirational to me. So thank you so much for, for what you're doing for this planet. Yeah, well, thank you for your enthusiastic uh, response to us and spread the word. Direct all your viewers to uh, cleantoantarctica.com and uh, give us a good support because our we are building a community and making this community stronger and bigger that will give us the force to make uh, uh, an uh, accelerating change to sustainability. Well, and we cannot do it alone, we, we have to do it with, with each other. That's right, it's a big community and we're behind you 100%. Thank you for Thank that. You. Thank you for that. Thank you. Good luck on your journey. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know. We work hard to bring you videos about things that we think you'll find useful, but we need to know from you what you want to see, so leave your comments below. Also, don't forget to go over to our Patreon page, where for as little as a buck a month, you can watch our Patreon bonus story every week on Tesla Time News. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.